Well, hi guys, it's that time. It's our Bible teach. Whoa, wait a minute. It's Monday. It's our Monday miracle story. And you know what? Today, I'm not even going to cut this off and start over. I'm just going to tell you, I do this every Monday or Tuesday. I always say Bible teaching snippet. But today, we're going to do our Monday miracle story. I'm going to go back to last week when I was talking about several different things, uh, like how uh, I know that someone has an unclean spirit when they're suffering from three or four different things, especially if it's three or more. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story about a lady. This lady came over. Now, look, she did not come to my house to get healed, okay? She came just to have a meal here. And as we were talking, there was three of us here. And as we were talking, it came out that she was suffering from some things, and so I pulled her out on my patio. I love to heal people outside, you know. Uh, in fact, I don't know that Jesus healed anybody inside other than the guy that was brought in through the roof. Most of his healings were outside, by the way. Anyway, so we're out on the patio, right? And I was told she had uh, fibromyalgia, I think, maybe. I know she had arthritis, and she had a breathing issue, okay? Uh, which was precancer esophagus stuff. Okay, so she had a breathing problem, uh, the arthritis as well as I believe it was fibromyalgia. And I commanded in the name of Jesus for those spirits, more than one, but usually there are. If someone's been sick for a while, more and more unclean spirits come upon them. Okay, sometimes it's just one if it's a short term sickness. Uh, anyway, there's a lot I could teach you okay, about unclean spirits just from my three or four years experience in it. So I'll just try to teach as I go. How about that? Okay, so I commanded all those, that, those uh, couple of spirits that was on her to get off of her. And then I commanded her body to be healed. And yes, she was immediately out of pain. And the next day, she did not have her breathing issue and no pain in her body. What I have found is a lot of times people get the completion of their healing at night when they sleep because our bodies go into a state of rest, okay? When we go into REM, REM sleep, our bodies go into phase four REM sleep. That's when healing takes place. Our bodies were naturally created by God to heal itself two to three minutes each time your body hits REM sleep. Okay, and your body, if you sleep eight hours, you're going to go into REM sleep four times. So a minimum of eight minutes up to 12 minutes. Remember the doctors always used to say, you'll feel better in the morning. That's why. There's truth to that. Because we were created in our original state to always be balanced and healthy and not to be sick. Okay, so she didn't realize for a couple of hours until she was up and moving around a while that bam, I can breathe and I don't have any pain in my body. So that is one time that I saw uh, where there was unclean spirits on a person and I commanded them to go and it was an immediate relief of pain but a complete healing the next morning after she rested and slept. The next thing I want to talk to you about is last week I made this comment too, is that I had actually, people were able to touch me and get healed. Mm -hmm. It's happened. And I've been able to just lay hands on people and them get healed. I'm going to tell you a couple of short stories before I get off about uh, off Facebook about this, okay? Uh, well, y'all know that I've mentored my little Courtney, and Courtney one time, we were headed uh, to church one morning, and she says, I've got this horrible uh, pain in my, my, my hand here, Mama, and I want you to pray for me. Well, I didn't pray for her. She was busy telling me, D -d 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 -d. she does that. She talks a lot sometimes. So she just goes off into talking about some stuff, right? Well, what I did is I just reached over and put my hand on her hand, and within just a little bit of time, she looked at me and she said, my hand is not hurting anymore. Did you heal my hand? And yes, I did. Remember, I told you I could direct the power of God. And while she was talking to me, I intently thought about, I'm releasing the power of Holy Spirit, Jesus' abundant life, into her hand. 
and healing her. I did the same thing with a young lady at Walmart. She was ringing me up, and I could tell she had a really bad headache or something, I, just the look on her face. And I said, you don't look like you're having a very good day. And she said, no, I have this really bad headache. And as she went to grab another item to scan it, I just slowly put my hand on hers, and I patted her, and I said, but you're going to be okay. That headache's just going to leave. And, you know, she had no idea. She said, well, I hope so. Do you know, and I was in the short line with 20 items or less. By the time she got through ringing me up, as I was getting ready to put my little bags in my basket, she looked at me and said, oh, my goodness, my headache is gone. And I said, I know. And I said, but let me do one more thing. Let me give you a hug. I want to give you a free hug before I leave here today. Blew the girl away. But anyway, as I hugged her, I said, you know, Jesus loves you, and he don't want you to have a headache. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to talk about is so Courtney kind of already knows about that I operate in healing. So this kid of mine, she will come up to me and put her hand on me, she, or take my hand and put it on herself. She don't even ask me. She'll just come up and grab me and put it on her and say, you know, I've got such and such, and boom. Uh, so she's one of those that reaches out and grabs the hem of Jesus' garment, and, uh, and I love her for that. Anyway, guys, listen, this is going to be a short little snippet today, but I, I will leave you with this thought, and I keep telling you this. Jesus told the father of the demonic kid, the, little, the teenager who was having the seizure, he wasn't telling the father that he needed to have faith, okay? What he was telling the father is that all things are possible to the one who believes Jesus was referring to himself having faith and believing in who he was. He's the Son of God filled with Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus was telling the man. I know who I am, and I know what I'm capable of, and all things are possible to the one that believes these things. Okay? Listen, guys, I'm going to run. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow right here. Okay? Bye-bye.